Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to Tiny Teams. Me and Boba uh, flexing out the biggest muscle in the human body, the brain. Oh, but not the organ, because that's the skin. Uh, the biggest... Yeah, I guess it would be the second biggest organ. It is, or is the, the liver, music. The liver, so our livers are probably a bit bigger. So this is um, our livers. the signal state. Okay. It's out now. You can buy it. I played it a little while ago. Did you? Um, I always like these Zack Zach like games, Zactronics type games, that involve something a bit weird. And this one's a bit weird. Um, if you haven't seen it, you might like it. I've not. Uh, this is why we're doing Tiny Teams. Um, there's a bit of a story. Okay. Do you want to do like a... What kind of voice should I do? Kind of an apocalyptic voice. Our machine stopped working years ago. <laughs> That's nice. Let's follow up. Not just ours, everyone's. Our computers, our appliances, everything. No one knows why. Entire cities ground to a halt. I wasn't even born when it happened. All I can remember were the distant dark cities hidden in smog. There you go. So here we are. Building everything from scratch, putting the pieces in the right places. Oh, beautiful stuff. Thank you. <laughs> My radio crackle slap. You should be nearly there. Do you see it? Hold on. Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> Like if we've gender reversed. <laughs> <laughs> it's the future. Um, thank you, thank you. So it's in quite a state. Yeah. So this is um, a little bit of a story. Okay. This is our farm. We got to fix it up, and we got to solve puzzles um, and rebuild. In in the this is like a nice little bit of background. Okay. It's not necessary because the game isn't about that. No. No. But. You know, it just provides a little backdrop yeah. for the puzzles. <gasps> Ooh, what a cool sign. It is cool. This is made by a team of two people in Singapore. Okay. Their goal is to create expressive and innovative video games with unconventional systems. By taking influence from real-world technology, we hope to make games that explore ideas and systems left unexplored. Ooh, Miriam's asking me if I'm all settled in. Yes. Yes, I'm ready to begin my work. All right. <clears throat> so. Ooh, she's saying recalibrate. We're Louis, gonna, we're gonna, help. We're, we're going to recalibrate the modular wiring system. Help, okay. Louis. There's statistics. <laughs> this is very simple, Boba. Yes. Very simple. Ah, it looks not simple. There's a <laughs> color chooser, color picker. That's fine. You don't need to worry about that. Rewire the circuits to repair the machine. Okay. So we've got this source up here. Yeah. And we've got machines okay. that let us modify stuff. Lewis, it's in Chinese. <laughs> no, it's just got some Chinese Lewis, help. manufactured technology. <laughs> it's fine. So, step one, Boba, you have to do this. So this is the, the source is up there. So you need to drag the source to the splitter. Okay. okay. This splitter will duplicate the source. Mm -hmm. And then what you need to do is then output it to the two outputs. So in this case, we have a source and, and outputs, and it just wants what's from the source. A split takes one output. and multiplies it. Connect the split to the out. Out and out. Okay, and then press play. And then our signal that will come in on the radio. What's it saying? It's just a little, it's just some code. Who knows what it's saying? Please send more sausage rolls. <laughs> no, but we're, <laughs> we're just calibrating it to get it to work. You know, we just okay. want to make sure that the signal that comes in this is like a game that TJ should be playing, honestly, because this is what the, what happens. TJ doesn't want to play it; he has his life. <laughs> um, How these people? Oh, Lewis, we're number four thousand five hundred, and I don't even know which one we are. It doesn't. It's, it's four thousand five hundred and ninety-nine, Lewis. Well, yeah, but well, don't worry. These these puzzles are the easy puzzles. So then we did so badly. No, but this is the tutorial <laughs> puzzle. But everyone gets the same score. It's fine. Okay. So we're just draw, we're, we're equal first on all of them. Okay. okay. I can do this. So power generator is the next one. All right. So, okay. okay. We can, we can do some story about repairing our farm and stuff if you like. Okay. But it's more about um, just getting like technology to 
talk to people again, rebuilding okay. technology with basic stuff. There was obviously Absolutely some sort apocalypse. of EMP, right? And we're, we're having to rewire everything up together. And so let's get the power generator working. The rat okay. apocalypse. The rats came and chewed all the wires, so we have to redo it. You can put that in the game if you want they, to. Okay, right. So you're now <laughs> suggesting alternative <laughs> stories. There is already... This game is oh, out. Oh, did it tell you which one? Look, I got to connect... Oh, no. <gasps> I want it to be a cute color. What's this mean? Random. Random? Red. Make it red. Okay, Make it that. red. <gasps> Look, I can move it, Lewis. You can. <gasps> That's wacky. <laughs> a split takes in one input and duplicates it to four outputs. So these are all working because we've put the power in. Yeah. A sum takes in up to four inputs and sums them up to one output. Mm -hmm. Use the split to duplicate the input. Then use the sum to add them together. <laughs> okay, Bobo, let's see if you can figure this out. Okay. It looks really wiggly. <laughs> okay, it takes in one, and then these four are now operational because of it. Whereas the sum will take in four inputs, and then that has a single output. Yes. But in the... So does... Send source one to output one, but with the signal intensity tripled. This is your task. So do these connect? Does that do anything? Yeah. If I just... <laughs> is that it? Okay, so that's four. That's quadrupled. Th that's too many? So if you press play now, it'll do, it'll do too many. Look. Ah! It's doing them wrong. So. Okay, so I need one less. Is that it? That can't be it. That is it. What? That's it. You did it. Oh, you need to match the pattern. Yes, so you could see. Boof is in chat. She can play this. This is a very, this is a very, boof game actually of synth. My friend just got an ARP twenty six hundred. I don't even know what that is. I can't even count that high. This is very much. Um, I don't know how any of this works, and when I was reading it, it sounded like it was in Chinese. You'll be, you'll be fine. I'm getting um, the hang of it, Miriam. Surely I am. So the next task is to route power to the power lines. Okay, so hit start. New game. All right. <clears throat> An ARP 2000. So yeah, you have these like modules that you install in these racks. I don't actually know anything about musical synthesizers. A lot of people are saying it's like. This is similar. So what, what you have is, I guess you have these um, signal generators, right? That make like, like that put out like a beat or like a certain tune. And then you can put them through other modules to make them sound different or behave differently, like quicker or slower or whatever. Lewis, this is like a different language. <laughs> <laughs> So you see that bias knob, so grab that knob and just drag it to 10 like she's suggesting. 10? Yeah. I'll have the 10. Nice. Okay. You can also just type in what you want okay. by clicking. So type in 5. Hit enter. Nice. Um, what's that button down there? Yeah, what is that button? Use these buttons to toggle between them. Okay, sure, 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 sure. I... I see. Yep, okay. Okay, yep, yep, this is fine. So, um, you'll be fine. Okay, so look. You see at the bottom there, you've got the source, source one. If you mouse over that, it'll show you what numbers are coming in. Okay, so it, it starts off with zero, keep going, and it'll be two, three, four, so it'll go up one every time. It's in... Yeah. Okay. It's by twos. Okay, cool. And then the bottom is by one. So 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 if you look at those signals though, yeah. you need to see output one needs to be five higher. Well it says it actually at the top left. Output one receives source one's signal increased by five. And output two receives source one's signal with its intensity halved. Okay, so tell me what you're thinking. 
brain empty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to... These outputs have to have a thing though, don't they? Like, where's my second thing at? You can... What the fuck is this thing? <laughs> so that adds or takes away volts from the signal. Okay. What's and that? that multiplies the signal by an amount. Okay. So how would you make... Okay, so I need an output one and two. Let's just see what it does, first of all. Okay, so doing that will just play the original signal into the output without changing it. Okay. So and this... they do not match because this one is zero, two, four, six. Yeah. And right now this is at, instead of five, it's at zero. Yes. So we need... Output one can be plus five. And that will match. I th Will it match? Yes. Okay, I've matched it. Perfect. Wow, I actually feel not... You're doing so it. ...so stupid. You're doing it. And this needs to be... Halved. Okay, so if I put that into input here and output here, and then, what is this? It multiplies it by that percent. So, so I need to have it. Is it fifty percent, or is it negative fifty? What does this do? I did math. You I are did doing it. it. You are. I'm actually <laughs> so surprised. I did. <laughs> I'm so surprised. It's really that simple, though, right, Boba? It feels like it should be really complicated, but actually. It's really like suddenly I'm it's like simple, right? Very surprised. Honestly, I'm surprised. You're doing it. Miriam is very pleased with you. Awesome, Miriam. Um, and the next step is to um, get the lights working. Okay. Okay. Time to get the farmhouse. Let's do it, Miriam. So uh, for this one, look, output one is source one and two summed together. Okay. Output two is source two subtracted from source one. That's such a horrible way to say that. But it's basically one minus two, right? Can change the speed of the signal playback and can be color coordinated. Right click to change its color and ask for hints. The notepad and the oscillis oscillis oscilloscope. oscilloscope modules can be useful for debugging <laughs> and experimenting. Wow, thank you, Miriam. I love my new oscilloscope. Yeah, it's good. I think Booth has an oscilloscope, I think. A few of them, probably. Oscilloscope. Okay, so I need... Oh, I've got to start. Okay. Output one is source one and two summed together. So that's... We need to have it there. So we need something that's takes an input and shifts it. That splits it and this sums it. So we need, it's source one and two together is what output one is. Yeah, so if you just change at the bottom there to that and play it, you'll see what happens. Perfect. So output one is okay, but we need an output two. And so to do that, we need more bits. I want these to be green. No, maybe blue. And also this one. Now it's pretty. <laughs> maybe pink. <laughs> white. That's not pink, yeah. Very white. It looks kind of like it could be. What's this one? Ooh, it's like... Flesh. Yeah. Um. Okay, and so then... Displays eight values used for debugging purposes only. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that so is then, far too adorable. Um, we need, I think maybe, because I'm going to have to do something weird. Output. Wait, did I just do a weird thing? I think I did a weird thing. Wait, no, I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Okay, we got to move this over here. So because I need the second output to be... Um, source 2 subtracted from source 1 because this is going to be right now it's at 0 because there is no output 2 
So we're gonna need an output two, which right now it would just be the same as output one because I've just split it. Yeah. So, but I need it to be at five, six, seven, and it needs to be subtracted from it. So we need another like bar. So would a, would a bias work? Because this is amount bias input by. So that multiplies it by a number. Multiplies it. Yeah. Effectively, you can make it 50% or a percent. And there's a negative there. There is. So if I, because it needs to be the subtraction, this is five, and then it goes down by two, down by four, down by six. So is that gonna, it's divided. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Um, okay. Tell me what's going on in your brain. My brain says Y equals MX plus B. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first things first. Yeah. Let's add a new splitter in because you've got this splitter in the wrong place. Do I? Currently, this splitter is splitting your what one plus My two, which is not what we want. But we want separate ones and two. So you're going to have to add two separate splitters to give us two separate feeds for one and two. And you want to split them at the source. So let's get rid of that sum for now. Just just chuck it. And and get rid of the wires. Get another one of these. And so split source one and split source two. And then sum up some outputs from those for output one and then that's done. Okay, so output one like this? Yeah, and put that output in the output one. Okay, but first I got, so I got to do this, Lewis. Okay, you do that, that's helpful. Um, that's so that is that. output one, that's sorted, right? Okay. Output, t we need output two, which is source two subtracted from source one. So we could use, again, we all we have is a sum. So what we need to do is go source this one. this is just this? It needs something else though, right? Can I look at it? I'm gonna look at it. It's source one plus minus source two. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So it's a sum of source one and minus source two, effectively. A sum of source one minus source two. A sum of source one and minus source two. <laughs> Does that, that? I don't know how else to explain it. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to make you're trying yeah. to do sub, source one minus source two. Okay. But the only way to get a minus is to multiply it by minus a hundred percent. So I'm going to need a so percent get, thing. get the get the attenuator, put okay. it on minus 100%. Um, I can just also type it. Okay. okay. And then send source two to that. Okay. And then combine that with, through another sum, with another sum. How do you know this? Well, because, because it's, it's it's all these guys, and then it combine source one, yep, yep, with that, and then export that. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna talk myself through it. Okay, so source one and source two are being split into four possibilities because we needed x. We needed to be able to put them in more than one place at once. Correct. So with source one. And the first output that we needed was to be a sum of both of them. Yeah. So we have the sum of them, which we've split into two, which doesn't mean that it's halved or anything. No. It just means that it's got two it's outputs It's duplicated, now. yeah. Into this. So we've put that out because it's we've put both of them And together. we tested that and we knew that that worked. Yeah. And so for the second one, it is source two subtracted from source one. So we needed to take source two and subtract it. That's where I'm confused by that. So we're gonna play it now and it's gonna be fine. Very beautiful. Because it goes, this one goes from five to eight to 11 to 14. And then this has the difference. So yeah, it's nine. So if you look at that, mm -hmm. it's like it's like five minus zero is zero, seven minus one is six, 
nine oh, minus I two see. is seven. Source one and okay. I was only looking at the differences in outputs. Yeah. So that so look, nine plus two is eleven. Mm -hmm. Nine minus two is seven. Okay. Okay. Now Sorry, I I'm in understand. The way of it. So yeah. So that's what we're trying to create. Like thirty-seven plus sixteen is fifty-three. Thirty-seven minus sixteen is twenty-one. Mm -hmm. But to make the negative, the only way to get this signal negative is to attenuate it yeah. to a minus amount. So we needed to take a hundred percent of output of source one away from source two. Yes. Okay. This one. You're very it, smart. No, but it's weirdly, it's like once you get your head around it, it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, it just seems like it's like a little bit like. Um, it, because it's not the same puzzles that you're used to seeing, mm -hmm. for some reason it's harder, but it's not. Gordon? It's just presented in a, this different way. Um, so yeah, welcome. This is this is the signal state. The games we played were were Star Stuff and Patrick's Parabox so far, and they they were very different games. Um, yeah. Gordon. So Gordon is delivering some new modules, which is just what we need. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Uh, VCAs. Controlled. Do you know what all these things are, TJ? VCAs and amplifiers and all this stuff. He says, yeah. Well, I have no idea. Um, VCAs control the intensity or amplitude of a signal with another signal. This other signal that control. <laughs> just, just, I think, <laughs> I think don't worry. Don't worry about his, his stuff. I'll help you. If I can remember. It was a while ago I played this, and I didn't play it again. I didn't play it all the way through. At each time stamp, output one receives a specified percentage of source one's signal. Okay, that's fine. The percentage value is specified by source two. Right. Okay, so we've already got that thing which gave us a percentage before, but now mm -hmm. we can define a specified percentage using a special module. So let's get that. The voltage control amplifier. That's the notepad. <sighs> oh. I said silly because I <laughs> called him dumb and then I was like, I'm not building much of a case for myself here. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're doing your best though, Boba. My best. I'm proud of you. So source one into VCA one. Source two into the modifier. Yep, and so an output to the output. That's all we need. That's it. This is just a tutorial for the new the new device. So why does it do it? So if you go back to the um, modules thing, that that's it. You'll see source one is sell is is the main source, and then source two is how much percent. So eighty percent of thirty five is twenty eight. Why, Lewis? <laughs> Why what? Why? Well, sometimes you need like this is this specific signal, like you know, it's like almost if you had like um, imagine you had a noise gate and you wanted to when it was loud, you wanted it to be reduced more than okay. when it was quiet. This would be the kind of thing you use for that, right? And so it like smooths out the signal to make it more consistent. Yes. All right. Gordon says I'm a natural. Yes, I am, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, right. Miriam's here. You're doing great, Boba. Everyone loves you. Thank you. <laughs> Do you mean in the video game? Both. <laughs> yeah. Do you need more sweets? Do you need something else? I need a I've jelly got, top. I've got things for you to try here. I've got a crunchy. Have you ever had a crunchy? I've had a crunchy. I've got a picnic. Oh, I've not had a picnic. Try, try a picnic. No, I hate raisins. All right, how about Yorkie? These are not for girls, though. They used to advertise Why that not? these are not. For, <laughs> that was like their thing. This is not for girls. It's like a man's chocolate bar. It was like a trucker thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be like a big trucker's chocolate bar, like a beefy, beefy big boy bar. That was their gimmick. Like get armpit hair if I eat this. Is that? Is that what you Help, want? Help, Lewis. <laughs> Just throw the piece on the. Don't eat that bit. Can't eat the floor bit. No, no, you can't. Just gonna have to leave. It's just a solid fucking bug of chocolate. Yeah, it is. <laughs> What's manly about this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't really understand their their gimmick. Mm. 
Yeah, enjoying it? It's just chocolate. It is, isn't it? It's just just full of chocolate. Mm. Uh, okay, next up. Send signal one to output one with its intensity boosted by 50%. Okay. Send SLC one to output two, but with its signal intensity boosted by a percentage specified by SLC two. We can do this. Okay. Okay. At a time. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know why you want to do this. Oh, I see. It lets you. Check out lets where it's you, fucked like, up. Stop and. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why you. We're not going to fuck up. We're not going to need that shit. Okay. So send source one to output one, but with its intensity boosted. This makes 50%. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Help! 50%. Okay. What is this? No, do? no, no. Well, okay. What's what? it do? Well. Wee! It's fucked up and broken. So, it's got a wiggle! So, what you're doing here is you're reducing it by 50%. If I make it negative. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Well, if I was reducing it, making it negative. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> You're halving it. You're, now you're halving it and minusing it. That doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about? You need to boost it by, increase by 50%. This one. Well, no, use the same one. <laughs> but you need to make it 150%. To understand. Oh. Yes, I do. But you can't do more than 100. <gasps> so guess what? If I put two of them together, that's how math works, right? Uh... No, again, that'll halve it again. What if I do it first? That'll halve it and then times it by itself. Yes. <laughs> so what you need to do is, you need to halve it and then add it to the original signal. Like that. <laughs> so I've made it in half. Yeah. And, and then, then sum it with the original signal. So then I... Well done, I've got an idea. Oh yeah, Watch. all like chat say, take 75% times it, do do two 75% and sum those together. So part of it's 50 percented. Yep. And then I need to do what again? Get some. This is not what you were gonna do before I interrupted you. Yes was it, it was, I was smart. Sure. You interrupted me, Lewis. I've got to make sure it's nice looking. Wow, look at that. Now let's see what it does. See, Lewis, if you'd only had faith in me. <laughs> okay, so you've done part one. Yep. How are you going to do part two? Send a source one to output two, but with its intensity boosted by a percentage specified by source two. The fuck? Zero, sixty, forty. Forty, thirty, twenty. <laughs> so do you remember what... This is... This is the... I should have done this game first. Your brain is frazzled. So what did we do last... What, what was the thing we used last time to boost the percentage? Yes. So how, do you remember how this works? Yep. Yep. And what's that? Yep. Very good. Give that a try, and then tell me why that won't work. Because... <laughs> <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't my notes for the game, this is my notes for the stream. Uh, Reckon Air Industries is a team of two founders in Singapore. <clears throat> That's all I got. I haven't got, the, I haven't got a cheat sheet, chat. Boosted. Send source one to output two. But with this intensity boosted. By a percentage. Bo bo boosted. So What's again, you need to add it to the original signal. <laughs> I need another one of these, maybe. Like this. Yep. 
Oh no. <laughs> I don't have enough wires. <laughs> what are you talking about? You got plenty of wires. Put that back. You know, put one. No, put. No. <laughs> Both of them. Put that back. That was fine. I Leave don't that know original where it stuff went. alone. <laughs> there, out. It's red now. It's the wrong blue. Okay, so you need you need just one more. Okay, Papa, you can do this. What do you need to do now? You're nearly there. This is a sum of two of them. I need to summarize. Some. So you need to boost the original signal. Yes. By adding the boosted version to the original signal. Yep. So get that output from the splitter. From the splitter. Yep. This the original one. signal. Yep. That's got four copies of the original signals. You could. There's still an output that's free. Use that. Put it into the sum. There you go. You did it. You did it. What the fuck is going on, Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what any of this is well, this, doing. This is really annoyingly cryptically worded, right? Because it's like, it says boosted by 50%. Is this what you make TJ do all day long? Yes, he says yes. <laughs> he says yes. <laughs> is this what... I have someone that does my editing. Is this what I'm forcing Tony to do? Inse except instead of that, we're just... Yelling at him that it's too loud in our ears. And What's he a horse? He has to do all the rest. People don't know what horses are. It's in the apocalypse. Yeah. Gordon doesn't know what a horse is, and yet he's gonna fucking tell me how to put wires together. Okay, Gordon, why don't you go look at a horse instead? Go I'm taking horse, it out on Gordon. Gordon. Yeah. Go touch a horse. Go touch, touch a horse. All right. I've got no time to chat. I've got to get into this sourcing outputs. Oh. SRC2 is a binary signal over. Is, okay. Okay, so if you look at SRC2, it's either gonna be 100 or zero, right? Right, so that's 100, and then if you go along, it's zero, okay? When it is at 100, mm -hmm. send SRC1 to output one. Otherwise, send zero volts to output one. Okay? VCAs can be used as gates. I'm going to need one of those. Because okay. it says it in the notes. So, if the... Right, so... These can be used as gates. Because, effectively... The binary signal will be either 100% or zero. Right? So if you plug the, the binary signal into the middle there, it will either be nothing or 100%. Right? You have to give the you have to plug source one in. Just stop it. Just stop it. Just stop it. Stop it. Okay, so it's just a, it's just teaching you how to use it, but can you see? You, can you, <laughs> you did. I thought I did this before. You did. Yeah. No, why is it doing it? I think it's just it's just weirdly organised. Sometimes these puzzles are actually quite a lot harder than um, they they are on the outside. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yes. Quite. Power regulator. You ready? A bit more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, a dual transistor a circuit, so you have to check the binary values of two different symbols. Signals, yeah. Signals. I'm not even going to ask Gordon. He doesn't know what a horse is. How's he going to tell me what to do? Gordon traded his horse knowledge for this. Okay, so... Yes. SRC1 and 2 are binary signals. And they're both at 100 volts. Send SRC1 to output 1. Otherwise, no volts. How are they? Okay, they're both bi binary. Yeah. 2 and 3? Yeah. 
But how come they look different? Because they are different signals. So basically what you have is you're trying to make a gate here where when both signals are on, you send go. Otherwise, you send stop. Right? Bo booby. <laughs> it's not a calculator, bo Boba. Booba. <laughs> so big it would help me. Uh, so this is at the bottom at 65, then at zero, then at negative even. Yeah, so that will just... It will send SLC1 only when... Only when both signals are at 100 volts. Where's the power regulator? Where is it? Which bit is it? What do you mean? Oh, we're fixing it. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to be a piece. So we're going to need at least one VCA here, right? Mm-hmm. So throw the VCA in. They said you're reading from your game facts sheet. I'm really not. I'm doing... What Lewis you watch, chat. Things. I'm gonna have. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be able to do this level in a minute, and we're both gonna be stuck. We're all gonna be stuck together. Yeah. Um, I've been struggling with this as much as Boba for the last two and a half hours. I just am holding it better. <laughs> That's why Lewis had me do all the other ones, um, so he could be prepared for this one. Oh, uh, it's just a little bit of math disguised with some panels. That's yes. all it is. We can handle it. Okay. Source two and three are binary, so they're gonna be one or zero. 100 yeah. or 0. When they're both at 100, source 1 needs to go to output 1. Otherwise, send 0 volts. So we need to find out... When they're both at 100? Yeah, we need to basically try and figure out how... We need to make a thing. So how does it... I want to do... Can I, I'm going to do an experiment. Okay. This means nothing. That's exactly it. I just want to see what kind of stuff I can do. <laughs> I've got like a whole lot of tools at my disposal. I, you're just plugging stuff into random... Yeah. Oh, you're right. 69. 40 40 percent okay let's just see what it looks like <laughs> <laughs> it didn't do very much to it at all it well it, it's quite a it's quite a wild watch this work <laughs> could you imagine if could you imagine if you accidentally invented <laughs> time machine yes chat wow how do I delete this is now this? an open world game yeah I'm gonna need a flake have a flake, Lewis. Have you had a flake before? Yes, and the ice cream, the way that it's yeah, meant yeah, to yeah. be. All right, so we're going to need check, one VCA, check. you said. Because a VCA, what that does is... If I ask her a question... Oh, she gives me a hint. Get help on Discord. I know this isn't VCA. Please! Um. Okay, so we need one VCA. Because... What does this thing do again? It reduces the signal by... A percent that you put into Does into this the hole. Like it? Oh, because it's an output, of course. Of course. How how could I be so silly? So the first thing you want to do is split signal one. All right. So split signal one into two parts and okay. get two VCAs. Okay. And yep. Yep, yep. And put the signal two and signal three into those VCAs. Into the middle. This one? Yeah. And then put that one in there as well. Now that gives us... That gives us outputs when... The chat says no. <laughs> is this not it? <laughs> There's no need to split. <laughs> and here we go. So this is not it, apparently. So what do you do? Do you put do you put it through both VCAs? Okay, right. I guess you do. So okay. So put signal one through a VCA, um, signal two into the middle, and then put another VCA down. I see. So you put it through both, right? So then the output goes into the input. Yeah, and you put that in there, 
And that goes to the output. Is that it? Yeah, okay. So... See, Lewis is smart. No, I'm not. Chat did it. No, Lewis did it. I, I would have... I was going in completely the wrong... Quick! Purge the chat! <laughs> Delete... Delete everything that everyone said for the this last two minutes. I, 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 my, I've, I'm gone, guys. I can't do any more. It's too complicated now. No, we've got this. Let's, let's try one more. We might have to bring TJ in here for these next ones. Ooh, can TJ do one and I'll go in that room? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Come on, TJ. <laughs> Come right, on, TJ. TJ. He's TJ. Everyone chat for TJ. 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 T.E.J. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. He's, he's, he's... We tried to peer pressure him. We tried to peer pressure him. It didn't work. <laughs> he's eating a Twix Par well. second, T.J. Yeah, he's got Twix. He's got his Twix in there. That's okay. We can turn your camera off too, T.J. Or... Look, there's not, there's not pressure for T.J. He's, we um, will. All right, let's go. He doesn't want to show you up, but that's it. That's true. If he comes in here and just solves the whole game in like five minutes, then you guys won't buy the game, right? Because you'll be like, oh, it looks easy. Well, if he it's comes in, he doesn't know how, and then <laughs> you have to fire him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. Can you imagine? Kazrax says, I think this stream has exemplified that we need a Lewis explains his spreadsheets to Boba stream. I've got a lot of spreadsheets, Boba. Um, they're all very private, though. <laughs> mm. What a, times I have taken a poo today. <laughs> Graph. What I ate before I did the poo. <clears throat> okay. It's good to keep track of those things, Popa. In case you have to go to the doctor for poo-related incidents. If source one and two are both... Oh, I see why TJ didn't want to do this. Because it's very easy. <laughs> if both or source one and source two are both 100 volts, send 100 volts to output one. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, send zero volts to output one. If SLT and SLC... All right, we'll do the first one first. Okay. So get the same setup you had last time. Um, we had... Help! Ooh, oh, we Jesus don't have Christ! This time. We've or got gate and instead. not. So in that case, get an AND gate. Okay, and we'll put one and two into it. Yep, and then output that to output one, right? That makes sense. That should work. Just give it a quick play. Okay, cool. That's a lot better than the system we had last time. So what's the next next one? I think we are going to need a splitter for this one. Because um, we're going to need those signals again. So yeah. Um, splits. Split these. Yeah, you're going to need two splitters, I guess. All right. Thank you. All right, you can fix that. So for the second option, if source one and, and or source two are at 100 volts, so that, that case where you can use the or one, so get an or gate. Yeah. And both of these into this, and then out. Sure, that should work. <laughs> Not one. And then we do this. You think this is oh. gonna be, oh no, that's not quite how it works, is it? If source one and source two are both at zero volts, send a hundred volts. So it's reversed. Mm -hmm. So we want to. Okay, then what we want to do is we want to probably what split the take the and combined, and then reverse it. Right. So get um get a splitter. Take the and output. Put it into the in, put it into the not, <laughs> and then put that to the output three, and then put the split there. Is that it? Is this not it? That is not it. We've got one and two. Okay, so that. It's very close though. It's hitting a lot besides this part. What have I done wrong here then? If not SR1 and not, that is not. You're, I don't understand you, Jack. Get rid of, get rid of that. Get rid of the knot. Um, and that splitter as well. Get rid of that. That's no good. That didn't work. So put that to the output one again. So sorry. If they are both at zero, what does a knot? What does a knot gate do? Hmm. 
That's what we've got for output one, though, isn't it? So it has to be different to that. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You're just trying random shit now. You're not even thinking about it. <laughs> just make a... Just the chat has suddenly become flipping electrical engineers. <laughs> just just make a NOR gate. <laughs> so not... Not... Not one becomes NOR. Okay, this is... My brain has actually melted right now. Um, not... This one is there not. There actually are multiple electrical engineers in chat. Uh, not one. This is simple binary logic, says chat. Is that it? It's oh close. My God, it is it, but why did it... It's not quite it. What is going wrong here? Oh, I see, it's not factoring in both. So do we need a sum? Do you need to put it through another knot? So get a second knot. <laughs> yeah, put that... There and then put the other that, signal in. That's not no real. no no. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to have two knot gates? Oh yeah, we have to two got knot gates with an and to them. Okay, <laughs> sure 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 maybe. I don't know where to use that. Lewis is doing it. So this goes into here. Yeah. And then we and these together. Chat. Is that what you guys are saying? Um. Is that it? Yes. Okay. So it's. It's checking. Holy shit. I don't actually understand that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand I it from the start. I'm actually gone now. <laughs> I've, I've actually lost. Um, TJ, did you get that one? Did, did TJ, would you, would you have been able to do that? He said it was easy. Dang, I TJ know. said that he did it he in did two really seconds. Too good at this. Um, and we love him. He, he did. He's a good boy. He knows what he's doing. This I don't understand any of this. I don't think. What TJ is it should be even? Either. This what is, is not, this math? What is this? I think this is. It's kind of math, but it's like frustrated by like these really awkward language and like the the cables. Yeah. Isn't it weird how like just? It's like they made it incorrect English on purpose, like not the video game people, but. The people that started programming, why didn't you simply make it worded more easily, better to read so, and understand? Hmm? Did you think of that? SRC 1, <coughs> 2, and 3 are random signals. Output 1 must receive the greatest signal value of the three signals. Output 2 receives the smallest value. There are min and max modules, apparently. Um, right, Ooh, I see. Like a tree or like roots. Or min value. Look how pretty that is. That's supposed to be a tree on purpose. So yes. we need to compare which is the highest value from these, right? Okay. So we compare one and two. Okay. And then we can... So if we compare one and two, but then we have to compare two and three. I've taken over because I now think I'm actually... I'm actually... Oh my god. Sorry, we need another splitter. Sure. We're gonna this is Don't oh. worry, Lewis. I do not mind. <laughs> so we're compa this is comparing This looks fucking ridiculous. <laughs> so that should work just to compare the three to give us the max value on that one, right? How did you know that? Well, because I'm comparing one and so this compares one and two, and this compares the bigger of one and two and three. And that means the biggest of one, two and three will be this value. So the same thing I can do with mins, right? It's exactly the same process. I can compare the smallest of one and two, and then I compare the, the smallest out of those with three, and whichever is the smallest makes Wins. it through, right? Okay, that is a little tutorial one. Um, that is not... Yes. Now... That'll be the easy one. Yeah. But now there'll be... Oh, no. <laughs> this is us IRL. This story. Oh, no. Where's... Can you do the next one in five minutes, Lewis? Yes. An irrigation system. You can irrigate. <clears throat> 
I think I can handle this. We I need find to prepare the crop tricky. fields with a automated pump that provides a very precise rate of flow. Okay. It requires everything that we've learned so far, Boba. No. Okay, so look, look, here we go. I'm looking. When SLC and SR2 are and SLC, SLC2 and SLC3 are 100, send SLC1 to output 1, right? We know how to do that, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boba is vanishing. This I'm is watching from the safety of below the desk where the maths cannot hurt me. So this is... <laughs> That's not right. Oh, but there's a change. If either SRC2 or SRC3, but not both, are at 100 volts, said so the inverse... <laughs> You holding your forehead and squinting your eyes is scaring me. Uh, the the maths is scaring of SLC1 to output 1. If both SLC2 and 3 are at 0... I can't do this. This is too much. My brain. Jelly tot? Uh, I'll have a jelly tot, yes. Look, Boba, I think we've done enough. We've done enough. Um, we've accomplished. Uh, oh, boy. So, if this is your thing... Um, Let's watch Lewis trying to build an XOR gate from only and ors and not gates. Yeah, this is um, this is the, the part of the Tiny Teams Festival on on Steam. It's really cool. Um, I don't understand oh, it. Oh, I busted the old. But I would mouse. like to. You can get this now. It's out. Um, the signal state. <clears throat> you know, it's if it's your thing, which it, it is my thing. But oh boy, this you is what like we didn't even get to here. Look at this, a sequential switch. Oh my goodness. Um, it's got a clock. There's, 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 there's notes. This is, this is some. If, if this is your thing, if this is how your brain chat works, is, there are some people in chat that are loving it. And you don't even have to wish this. It. It's available now, and it's in fact thirty percent off sale. in Tiny Teams. So yeah, there you go. You could also look at this. There's other ones like Alan's Automaton Workshop. If this is your thing, which it really is for me, I love electronics games. Um, you should check it out. There's loads of games on Tiny Teams. Uh, we got, we got me and Bobo That's here. That's me and you. Um, we got, we got all sorts of stuff that we're producing. There's some discounts on some of these real cool games like Peglin. This was our favorite game of last year for sure. Mm -hmm. Escape Simulator. That was in Tiny Teams last year as well. That was really good. And then there's loads of really cool adventure and RPG games. This is really cool. I've actually played this as well. Who's on after us? It's, um... Boof and O's point and clicks. Holy crap. There's some really cool point and clicks in, in the um, in Tiny Teams. Some of them are, most of them, a couple of them are not out yet. Um, oh, Button City. Lots of cute ones as well. There's a lot of really cute ones, actually, in in the, in the Tiny Teams. It's very exciting. Um, very, very exciting. So, yes, thank you for, for joining us on our Big Brain stream. Um, there were some really cool games today. How big we, were our brains, chat? We we had to stop because I I am I was getting a bit sweaty on that last one <laughs> <laughs> from the nerves, it was a not bit too from much. the not from the being a tryhard. Um, but yeah, lots lots of things and 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 stay tuned for Boof and O's. Um, they're they're brilliant and yeah, they're gonna they're gonna show some really amazing, really funny, really cool point and clicks. So yeah, um, that one of them is like made by sort of a northern England. It's got like this kind of sarcastic. Oh, do they say gravy? Yeah, very much. Gravy. It's full of it's gravy. it's it's it'll be perfect for the for for Sophie and um Sophie and O C Alright, take care take care everyone. Stay tuned. See you soon. See you soon. See you bye bye. Bye bye bye. -bye.